Rosemary, it's been way too many years since we've had a chance to speak. I remember back in the day when I was working at my radio station, you and I spoke every year about Black History Month. You have not aged, you look beautiful, but more importantly at this event, how does it feel that so many people were thrilled for you to be here when they mentioned your name? I mean, people were trying to stand up, but it was too tight a position to be in. <laughs> well, you know what's wonderful? That people recognize the 22 years of unpaid labor that I gave to not only building up the Ontario Black History Society, but to extending the appreciation of all the amazing things people of African origin in this country have done. Um, not just in terms of our history, which some people want, might want to think is kind of staid and boring, but we've been involved in everything. And when you have, um, I'm, I'm so pleased that TD, which was the, one of the very first culture, uh, sorry, corporate sponsors for our cultural event, came on board, it really helped to make things even better, easier, because we had that security of knowing we had that bit of support to help us. But how difficult was it back then to even get this rolling to become what it is now? I mean, 90 events are going on. you got an event like the Black Diamond Ball where people are out elegant, things are going on at the harbor front. So many events, so many tributes going on. But I remember when you and I talked way back then, you this would have been unheard of. Well, let's put it this way. For a very long time, I operated with no resources. And when you operate with no resources, you put on events, you have conferences, you have con uh, uh, concerts, you, you have balls or events that are very different because you are you have to work within a budget that you only can generate based on ticket sales. When you have an, uh, the security of having a little bit of funding or a lot of funding or s sufficient funding to get you started, sometimes seed funding is all that you need, it helps tremendously. And it was really a, a, an unfortunate situation that we would be faced sometimes with people not recognizing how valuable and how beautiful we are. So when you have people who look like you, who get why it's important, and they can make a difference, and they do, then it all comes together like magic. What changed? What made the difference, do you think? Um, I have to really credit Al Ramsey um, with TD. When he came on board, it made a significant difference. I had been talking to other banks, in some cases for five years, constantly, about getting support. And it wasn't until TD came on, first corporate sponsor I was able to secure with, you know, not that I hadn't been trying elsewhere. I, that made all the difference. Um, even towards the end of my time with the OBHS, we attempted to go through and uh, secure many other corporate sponsors. The doors are still closed. And I think once people begin to realize not only that we help to increase satisfaction in the community, happiness in the community, we have funds that we can invest and use and spend in a variety of places in the community. When they invest in us, we can invest in them. What do you think are some of the, the, the changes that you've seen over the years that really touches your heart? I mean, as we were speaking, I was pulling out a $10 bill which really, I mean, when, when this... I, I have been talking about Viola Desmond since my first book came out in 1993. I had the opportunity to meet Carrie Best, who was a publisher in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Had 500 cups of coffee with her in downtown Halifax. She told me the story of Viola Desmond. I included it in my book, the kids' book, uh, sorry, Leading the Way Black Women in Canada, and later, the kids' book of Black Canadian history, which you can still get. At any rate, the reason that I was telling people is because so often what happens, school kids are finding out about Rosa Parks, and they should. But hey, wait a minute, we have somebody who did something nine years before Rosa Parks. We have black history right here in this country. And unfortunately, some of it isn't pretty, but the reality is we have it. Um, similarly, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King. I would go into schools to talk about black Canadian history and that's what the students were being given. Um, so we also have now Lincoln Alexander Day and two national figures, one on our money and one a day, both black. 
Viola Desmond, uh, reflecting those long-term indigenous African-Canadian roots, and Lincoln Alexander expressing the newcomer, immigrant, Jamaican, St. Vincent Vincentian kind of a, a background. They both bring something amazing to the table. And I think it's important for us to switch it up. Don't get rid of Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King, but do include Viola Desmond and Lincoln Alexander. We have Black History Month in February, but for folks who want to learn about Black History Month, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and January, where can we go to get more information? Where can we go to see things? Where can we go to experience, again, not just in that month? Where can we go from? Uh, I would suggest that they check out some of the uh, historic sites in their area. Area. Uh, Southern Ontario and Toronto are really rich with some of those sites, as are the Maritimes, not just Nova Scotia, New Brunswick too. And um, there's online resources, uh, Black History Canada, Historica, um, many places that people can go. And don't rule out your library. If you ask, they will get, and if they don't have it, they will. So it's, it's on us to do that. I think we also have to um, affirm our own reality. And some of that happens when you talk to people in your community and find out what their experience has been existing and surviving in this particular society. Um, we have some challenges, but it's awesome here too. People want to get in touch with you, and if I need to get in touch with you too, where do you go social media? That was something we never talked about before. Wait, social media, what was that? Uh, but I have a great social media following now, and my uh, I'm on Facebook, Rosemary Sadler, S-A-D-L-I-E-R, and I also have an email address, which is my name, rosemary.sadler at gmail.com. Great to see you. Congratulations with all the success, and thank you for what you did back then for this to happen now. Thank you so much. I haven't stopped. I'm still working. I'll let me give you yeah, back your money. Yeah, yeah. I'm tempted I'm to keep it. No, no, I'm a broke lunch. man. <laughs> I was at the launch, so I've got my own. But I, I continue to do the work. Um, the, I didn't work at the Ontario Black History Society. It was a sacred legacy. And I've continued that sacred legacy outside of the organization. So right now I'm working on having the installation of a bus to commemorate Lincoln Alexander. And people can donate online at www.l2l.ca Congratulations with all the success. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Rudy.